what is going on Amazon sellers or hopefully soon to be Amazon sellers. My name is Bo Crable and in this video, I'm gonna be going over exactly how I'm able to spend absolutely zero dollars in advertising, okay? And it's gonna be more focused on the logistical process, how I'm actually able to still get sales, thousands of sales, and spend zero dollars in advertising. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because I get a lot of questions on both. How are you able not to spend any money in pay-per-click ads? How are you still able to get ranked number one in the search results? How does that even possibly happen, okay? And and now I'm making this video because you guys ask all those questions. So if you guys have a burning question that you want me to go over, feel free to comment down below with that question, okay? So I always get feedback from you guys and wanna make the content that you guys want. Okay, so first off, before I go into the logistical process on how it works, let me first explain in just a general sense, okay? So the general sense is that I'm selling products that already sell on Amazon, okay? So in Amazon, instead of like an eBay where you have to go create up a whole new listing if you're selling products that already exist, in Amazon, you don't create a new listing if it's a brand name product that already exists in Amazon's catalog and you have the full rights to sell it, okay? So for example, if I wanna go sell Madden 17 for Xbox One, I go search Madden 17 for the Xbox One, there's probably only gonna be one listing that pops up, okay? And then I'm gonna put my units for sale on that listing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through that process exactly how it works, okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to be using Madden 17 for Xbox One, and the reason why I'm using this, I know it sounds very redundant, I actually, in my course, I use Madden 17 Xbox One for this example, but using a video game is a very, very good example for this, and you'll understand why, okay? So if I wanna go sell the Madden 17, the Xbox One, right? I'm going to first see this product right here that says 1350, okay? But if we scroll down, you're gonna notice there's this product right here for 3048. It looks like the deluxe edition, but you're gonna notice these are the same ones down here versus these, and they're 2780. This one's 3699. This one's 1499. Now keep in mind that those listings does not mean they're all different sellers. Okay. For example, let's go open up this listing, open up in a new tab, and also open up this in a new tab. And if we notice this one's 1350, and if we go find the rank, the rank says 118 in video games. Now you might have no idea what the rank really means or what it stands for, but I'll go over that in just a second, okay? Um, but we're gonna notice that this product, the one sells for 2780, has a rank of 13,002 in video games. I mean, heck, you could probably go buy it on this listing and go sell it on this listing for more, but no, 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 that's, you're not gonna get any sales, okay? And what I'm gonna be showing you here, you see there's 23 sellers here, and you're gonna notice there's 270 sellers here. However, the majority of those people are not gonna be my competition, that's a totally different video, but let's go over the sales volume difference, and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna get the rank, all right? So if I go to junglescout.com slash estimator, which please do not get that confused with the private labeling research tool, I do not do private labeling, if we go out to video games, and if we go plug in this rank down here, um, 118, that's going to turn into, let's see, it's gonna be about 1,951 sales per month. If we go look at this, right, um, 1302, actually forgot the two in there, let's go paste that in and put the two at the end you're gonna notice that it is less than five, which means zero sales per month. So we have one listing that sells 1,951, and then we have one listing that sells zero. So you have a choice to either sell on the one that has zero, where your ROI could be higher, um, or you could choose to sell on the one that sells fast, okay? Now you're probably wondering, okay, how, how do I make sure I'm getting part of those 951 sales? So all you gotta do is what I'm about to show you right now, okay? So what you gotta do is you're gonna get the ASIN. Okay. And how you get the ASIN, you go down to the product information page. What I like to do is if you're on a Mac or I think even on a PC too, you can do command or control F and then you can just go type in uh, ASIN and this will pop up. It will take you down to the ASIN. So I'm going to copy that Then I'm going to go into Amazon and then we are going to show you exactly how you add your units in stock on this listing. Cause that's all what you're really doing is you're just putting your units for sale on this listing 
and then you just need to go position yourself to make sure you're going to get the sales. Okay, so let me do that right now. Actually, first, let's actually here's my Amazon sales for today. I'll refresh that so you can see that. Um, but it's not bad. It's January 8th right now, so pretty slow time of the year. And this is off one account. Do keep in mind I have three accounts. So pretty pleased with that um, right now. But now let's go through this product, okay? So how this process would work is you copy the ASIN, you paste it in, you hit search, you then hit sell yours. Then you put the condition as new and say, I mean, say if you want to sell these FBA, then what you could do, you could go hit advanced view. Then you would hit, I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service. Um, you would do, call. I, I'm going to put about 14 bucks right now and then match the buy box later. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind and say, save and finish. You do that. And then you go through the process of sending the procs to FBA. Um, if you bought this from an authorized supplier, this would be the point where the supplier gave you the shipment directions and the weights and dimensions and everything. You go plug that in and go through those steps, okay? However, now you're probably wondering, Okay, so now my products are for sale there. Now, how do I make sure I get a portion of these sales because the rank was 118? How do I make sure I position myself to get 1,951 of the sales? Now, just keep in mind, you're not going to get one, all 1,951 of the sales. What's going to happen is you're going to be sharing them. Okay, so we're going to realize we're not going to be selling on this listing, so we can just exit it out right now. Um, actually, if you're wondering why there might be multiple listings, it's going to be for the reason because most people have no idea how to sell on Amazon. And that's the short answer. Okay, just wait, you know, let you know that right now. However, let's figure out how you position yourself to get these sales. And how you do that is first we need to understand what the buy box is. Buy box price is $13.50. I have other videos about explaining the buy box. However, um, what you want to do is you need to understand who's going to be your competitors. Okay, now. Who your competitors are going to be are the people selling FBA, people selling new, and people at the current buy box price. Everyone else I do not care about. Again, most people have no absolute idea how to sell on Amazon. Okay, And how I figure this out quickly is first I'm going to filter out only new sellers because I only care about the people selling new. And then I'm going to go filter out to Prime because I filter out to Prime. That's going to be FBA sellers. However, there can be some times where you have FBM sellers selling Prime, but that's a different story. Um, but now we're going to notice all the sellers who are selling new, selling FBA, and now let's go see how many of those sellers are at the 1350 mark. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven at 1350. Okay, so I would say right there, if I added my units in stock right now, I would be the eighth seller. So I'm going to get that 1951. And we're going to divide that by 8. Okay, so 1951, you divide that by 8, hit enter. You're going to get 243 sales front. However, you do need to keep in mind, right, that these people could become my competition at any point. They're only 50 cents off the mark. They could go match at 1350 at any point. Okay, now reasons why they're not is maybe because they just have a couple units. Maybe they're doing arbitrage. Just they don't have a lot of units and maybe their profits aren't as high. So maybe they're waiting for people to sell out. Sometimes not a bad strategy, um, but then we see people up here. When it gets past 16 bucks or so, that's going to say those people are probably not my competition because their profits are probably gone already. So that's why they're saving it there. They're probably doing arbitrage and everything. So uh, these people down here and everything else is not my competition. Um, if they do match, they're probably just going to be losing a bunch of money and then they won't be in business for much longer. Um, but yeah, that's all you do because now. Once you position yourself and make sure you're at the 1350 mark, what's going to happen is that Amazon will equally share the sales. Okay, so um, if there's eight people selling at 1350 at new at FBA, they're going to share these estimated sales. Now these are estimated sales, so the rank could be 100 tomorrow, the rank could be 150 tomorrow. It could vary. However, that's going to give you a good estimate, and that's how I you don't have to spend any money in advertising. Okay, because you walk through the process that you're not having to go to do run paper click ads to go get those listings because you didn't have to go create the whole new listing. When I added the product like here, that's all I did to make the listing. And that's it. So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you want to stay up to date with all of my new content and be the first one to see all of the cool stuff I'm releasing, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then when you hit subscribe, you want to make sure you hit the little bell so you can get notified for my videos. And then also feel free to attend the free webinar that I will be hosting 
on exactly how you can be selling brand name products on Amazon. The webinar is 100% free to attend. I it most likely be in the first link in the description. You can attend that webinar and you're going to learn exactly how to sell brand name products on Amazon. Okay. Then what you can also do is you can join the free public Facebook group I have as well. You can search it. It will be in the probably towards the end of my description. There will be a link to that. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Bo Crable. Follow me on Instagram at Bo Crable as well. And then also you can follow my Facebook fan page, which is official at official Bo Crable. You can just hit follow and you can see all the content be up to date with everything you can see coming from me. Okay.